Hi, hey, Judd here. I do a little preamble to the frog hunt. What I'm trying to do is get a close-up shot so that I can get close enough to identify what kind of frog this is. Now the trouble is, the frog may be anywhere along that water line. Okay, which goes all the way along there, up around the corner, and up to there. And to get a detailed shot, I have to zoom in like about that much. Now you see that, at that zoom, that takes a lot of camera frames to cover that same area. And I have no way of telling where he is going to show up. He never shows up in the same place twice. And this gives me a very limited, I've only got the two cameras to do the close-up work with. So it's a total shot in the dark, even though it's early morning light, as to where he's going to show up. And he has about a 20 to 30 foot sensitivity, so when I step within that distance of him, he jumps. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to go for this area over there and that area there where I almost got him the other day and take my steps out over this way and then reset the cameras for over there and over there so that's the game plan wish me luck No go on those spots. Now we'll try the next two spots. Nothing there. So now we'll go out to the front. Maybe we get anything there. Okay. There's no frog today. But there you see the situation. Happy day to you. I just had a thought. I'm thinking he might have moved on. He might be gone. I haven't seen any sign of him in the last two days. So we'll give it another shot tomorrow. And if there's no sign of him, I think he's gone. So much my thought. It's about three hours later. I'm working on the editing. I stepped out for a break. Stepped off the porch and the little guy jumped right in front of me with a scream. So we shall continue.